The Zero Coast is sometimes described as a single oscillator synth. Here are some of its potential audio outputs. The triangle, square, overtone, digital square, pitched noise, variable slope, pulse, Contour. Pulse. Only one of the circuits is called oscillator by name, but the Zero Coast layout opens up the possibility of breaking down the identities of the individual circuits, and more specifically, eliminating the distinction between audio and control. One of the first synths to explicitly encourage this breakdown was the system developed by Surge in California in the 1970s. The original Surge modules took a Buchla-inspired approach to sound generation, to be followed later by Moog-style filters and four-stage envelopes. However, unlike Buchla, the Surge system had only one type of patch cable that could be used to carry both control and audio signals. And unlike Moog, it specifically encouraged patching outside of these distinctions. The No Coast strives to continue the legacy of all three of these pioneers. In the No Coast, all signals are composed of the same substance, namely voltage. For example, the only difference between an LFO and a VCO is the frequency. A CV input will respond to any change in voltage regardless of the type of circuit it comes from. For example, an audio output will output any signal that changes fast enough to be audible. If I clock the tempo input with the square wave from the oscillator and monitor the clock output, we can hear that it sounds like a square wave at the same frequency as the oscillator. We could also hear the random output as noise. These characteristics of voltage-controlled, voltage-generating circuits even enable them to swap positions entirely with purposeful patching. For example, let's monitor the slope output while it cycles. If we make the rise and fall times short enough, it becomes directly audible. Let's modulate its time with the oscillator. By patching a negative offset from voltage math to the one volt per octave input, we can make the oscillator run at a much lower frequency than the slope. Now the two circuits have switched identities. In itself, this patch is not particularly more interesting than the typical signal flow but it may provide some food for thought if you've never looked at synthesizer circuits in this way. Even the contour circuit can be an oscillator. Patch a negative offset to the gate input, and then patch the end of onset gate into the voltage math. Once the gate goes high a single time, the contour will re-trigger itself, aka self-cycle, aka oscillate. Patching these various oscillating circuits to control each other expands the sonic palette of the No Coast. Especially if we patch in a circular way so that a given circuit is both affected by and affecting another one. In such feedback patching, the waveforms that emerge can be warped differently within and across cycles, resulting in new waveforms. Here we have contour, slope, and oscillator circuits all controlling each other at audio rates.